Yo, what up guys, Eddie here on the Falibu channel, and today I thought I'd make a video listing some of the utilities that I use to stream VR. I'm not a professional streamer by any stretch of the imagination, but I think this information could help some other people get started sharing their own VR moments. Uh, firstly, I'll start off by mentioning that this video won't cover custom overlays or graphical topics, but instead focus on the software utilities with which I think people should start their VR streaming journey. I use an HTC Vive for my VR headset and Twitch for my streaming service, so your mileage may vary if you choose differently. Uh, also I should mention that I use a stylus monitor with a resolution of 1440 by 900 as my primary monitor, uh, so my output will look a little bit different from those at different resolutions. Unfortunately I don't know enough to explain how every individual uh, person should set up all of these utilities to fit their custom needs but there are plenty of resources by people who are more versed in each particular software that can explain them better. Please only use this as a frame of reference of where you can get started to accomplish some of the things you see in other streams, but tailored for VR. Alright, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started just looking at some of the things that I'd like to tell you all about. Uh, OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, that's what I use to stream and record videos with. Uh, this is what I suggest to other people. It's pretty easy, it's pretty uh, low maintenance, and it works. So far I haven't had a reason to use anything other than this for, for streaming. Alright, so moving along, we're going to talk about the OBS OpenVR plugin. Okay, so with this uh, OpenVR input plugin, V1.0 at the time of this recording, what this does is it basically gives you a compositor output of what your VR headset is seeing. So you can record what your actual headset is seeing. Now what this means to you is if you've been doing your streaming just with a normal game capture or window capture or whatever, uh, we're really just game captures and display captures, <clears throat> you're only capturing what the in-game camera is seeing. Now that is different than what your H and what you see in your HMD. Uh, an example of this is a game show uh, game that I recently played called Kiss or Kill, and that game uses a camera in its game scene that it, it starts out at the back of the scene so that it can see everybody just like you would see a game show, and then that camera moves around and it'll catch different angles from the players and stuff like that, and that's not what you actually see in your headset. That's just what the camera is showing uh, everything outside of the game. That's its main output display. So if you wanted to show you know, a game like that from your own perspective, how you see it, you would need something like this, something that lets you capture uh, what your HMD is actually viewing. Now what that also means is that using this plugin, you're gonna be streaming your overlay information. Now what that is uh, on the Vive is, um, if you press the Vive system menu, it'll bring up your Steam system menu, and all of that is overlay stuff. Uh, normally, it won't show up in like game captures and display captures, uh, at least not all of the information. But when you're using a plugin like this, it literally shows everything in its display output that you see with your eyes inside of the headset. Okay, so moving along, we've got Chatty. So Chatty is a Twitch client that has an audible note uh, that has audible notifications for join, leave, and message alerts. It's also free. Uh, the other two softwares are free as well. The Open Broadcaster software is free. The plugin is free. This Chatty uh, Twitch chat client is also free. And what this basically does is it gives you a chat client. Let me pull it up here. And you can plug in your own information and connect to your own. Uh, Twitch feed so that the Twitch feed will come out in here. So the reason for this is uh, Chatty lets you get notifications, uh, audible notifications, sound notifications. Whenever you get uh, somebody enters the chat or somebody leaves the chat or if somebody chats to you, if somebody types a message to you. Uh, personally, I have it set up for uh, to give me two rings when a person enters the room I hear bing bing and that means a person entered the room and I can check you know uh, to see who entered the room <coughs> uh, 
I have one ring uh, to signify that a person has left the room and I can check and see who has left the room. Uh, you can see right now I'm the only person in it because I'm not streaming. Uh, well, that's probably not the only reason, but that's one of the reasons. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then thirdly, I have a, a sound notification for when somebody types a message to me because I really hate missing messages. If a person is actually on my stream while I'm streaming and they type something to me, and I really want to be able to read it and, and respond. Uh, so this gives me an audible notification to let me know when that happens. So when a person joins a room, I hear bing bing. When they leave a room, I hear bing. And when uh, they chat to me, I hear clack 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 like uh, like a mechanical keyboard. Okay, so that's one of the reasons that's cool. All right, moving along, we have uh, OVR drop. This is a desktop window for displaying chatty or uh, any other chat feed in VR. This basically lets you display windows inside of VR. So you can have a window open on your desktop and while you have OVR drop running, you can use OVR drop to select a certain window and whatever window is selected on your desktop through OVR drop, whatever uh, application that OVR drop is looking at, it's going to display a window to that to you inside of VR and you can see some of that stuff here in, in the pictures that little thing you can have it floating or strap it to your hand so if you've ever been watching a VR stream and a streamer might turn their left hand over like so you see the bottom of the controller but instead you see like a chat window uh, they're using this or something like this and this is a great way to have your chats uh, your chat feed show up to you while you're in uh, OVR, uh, while you're in VR. So when I'm in VR, I will launch OVR drop and I'll have it target this chatty window. So the chatty becomes the active target of uh, OVR drop and then OVR drop will show me only this and I have it set to where it's strapped to the back of my left hand, which I believe is the default uh, status of it. And so whenever I hear a bring bring, I'll turn over my left hand and what I see is this and it'll tell me so and so has joined and then it'll show them up here. So uh, with that being said, with that being that said, being I am. Yeah, sorry about that. With that being said, I will have uh, an access to who's in my chat room right now. And I will also be able to see at what time they joined, what time they left. If I get a message notification, clackety clack, 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 uh, I'll be able to check right here while I'm in VR and it'll show me the message that they sent me and I can respond appropriately. Okay, so moving right along. This, okay, so mentioning, uh, when I was mentioning OVR drop, I, fa I failed to mention that this is not a free program. This is actually at the time of... Uh, at the time of this recording, it's $15, but it has a 20% sale. It's on sale for $12. Uh, but the same creator who made this software also originally made uh, OpenVR Desktop Display Portal. Now, OpenVR Desktop Display Portal is very similar. Again, it was made by the same developer, uh, and it works very similarly to OVR Drop. However, OVR Drop is much more performant. Uh, just from my own personal experience, the only thing I can tell you about that is that I used to run uh, this OVR Drop, uh, you know, OVR Desktop Display Portal, and I, it would, I run an i5 45, uh, 4590, and it was pushing about 20% of my resources on just the OpenVR Desktop Display Portal. Now, <clears throat> the difference being when I start, when I bought and started using OVR Drop, I'm using about three to five percent of my of my resources to do the same thing. So for me, the fifteen dollars was worth it. For you, it may not be. And in that case, I thought I would offer you the free option. It's kind of getting buried because it's getting old and it's not being updated at all. But uh, you know, as the the last time I checked, this still worked. I hope it still works now. Uh, it's definitely at the very least, you know, uh, you should be able to check it out and see if you would like to use it uh, And that might lead you like it did me. Maybe that might lead you over to purchasing OVR drop on the flip side of that same coin It might make you realize hey, you know what? I don't really need that and that way you don't waste your time or your money 
Okay, so moving right along, we have Streamlabs. So Streamlabs I use for like stuff like getting alerts, you know, when I get a follower, subscriber, stuff like that. Uh, it also, I use this for showing my chat feed uh, as a part of my streaming overlay so that the chat feed will come over uh, the game that I'm playing whenever you're watching it on the stream. So if I stream, if I'm streaming, for an example, a first person shooter game, and you chat to me and you say, hey, Falibu, what's up? Uh, it'll come out on my stream to wherever I have it set up, and it'll look just like this. You can see, you know, right there, it says, yo, what up, guys? Real big on the left-hand side. And then in just a second, it's going to fade. There it goes. And so for that functionality, I use uh, Streamlabs. So we'll go ahead and log in here real quick just to show you some other things that it does. Uh, it's fairly easy to set it up. I found a, a really good video on, on setting up that got me. If it didn't get me the whole way, it got me most of the way. Uh, I don't remember which one it was or I would put it in the description. I apologize for that. All right, so with alert box, and this is through Streamlabs, you can, uh, so yeah, you get you can get alerts, you can get chat feed, and get a lot more stuff into your uh, stream output display. And this is free also. So you can see here, there's like our alert box, your goals, your stream boss. Uh, what I use, personally, what I use is I use alert box. I use the stream labels. I use, uh, I think I use the chat box. Uh, I don't really use the viewer count because my viewer count usually stays low, so... Uh, but, I mean, hell, if you've got a big viewer count, maybe that's something you want to use, too. And so, let's go ahead and... I'm just going to show you, like, uh, this is... I think it's pretty much the default, but, uh... Yeah, that's what it looks like when somebody follows me. Yeah, and when somebody subscribes. And I think I may have the graphic, you know, a little bit messed up up here. At the very top, where you're, you know, of the, of the recording. Test donation. I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, test posting. And then uh, test bits. Test paids. And all that stuff. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. And again, that's uh, Streamlabs. You know, uh, th that's just in the alert box. That's not even getting down into like the stream labels and the, the chat box and the stuff like that. But, uh, you know, that, that'll definitely get you started. This is the place to start. Okay, so if you look, like, uh, at the top of the, uh, the recording up right here, you see, like, some green animated things. You've probably seen it animate when I started clicking off my alerts. And what that is is Stream Lab. Uh, sorry, Stream Labels. The first, this, uh, the website that I'm on right now is Stream Labs, but they also make a product called Stream Labels that's its own standalone uh, application <clears throat> and stream labels is good for having dynamic information displayed on your stream output such as animated follower lists etc so uh, that's basically like this you know like I said you get an animated follower list let's go back over to alert box or as a matter of fact let me use the actual stream labels this is the stream labels application that you can download uh, from right here and I log in with my twitch you can log in with whatever you log in with but yeah you know it basically takes you to the same place but it's the stream labels tab so stream labels here uh, I have it set up to where I'm only following my twitch and not my YouTube right now so just to go ahead and reset it back to where it was this software basically takes the information from your your Twitter account, you know, after you provide your information to sign in, and it populates a list with all of the information that you want to keep track, uh, excuse me, keep track of, and then it'll display that list using its own user interface, which is what you see up here, the animated follower tab. And so I'll show you how that works here. I'm gonna go ahead and reset it. This is the the last three people that followed me on Twitch, and you can see them animating down right now. So that I can reset them back the way they were. Yeah. So that's stream labels. Oh, I apologize. It's gonna go through all these little things here. <laughs> <clears throat> 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 
but yeah, I figured uh, a lot of my friends stream VR and I've been, I do a lot of beta testing and I come across a lot of people in my times playing VR games that, uh, they link me to their, to their videos so that I can check them out. You know, I, I'm, I'm always looking for cool videos for cool VR videos. And so, uh, a lot of the time I, I see certain things, you know what I did forget to mention this, uh, I apologize. I'm having to backtrack here. The property, because this is one of the reasons why I made this video. One of the reasons why I made this video is because when people link me their VR streams, I the first thing that always jumps out at me is that uh, they're not using capture right eye, which is what you can see right here. Now, what the what that means for you is uh, normally whenever you're streaming VR just out of the box using OBS. What's being captured is your left eye and it's very, very, very strange to watch footage from a person's left eye when they are right eye dominant because a person using a gun will normally aim down the sights using their right eye. So it's weird to see a recording that's recorded from their left eye. So this is like the biggest reason I made this video. The capture the right eye functionality of the OBS OpenVR plugin. Uh, capture right eye. Capture your right eye. Stop capturing your left eye. Start capturing your right eye. Just do it. It looks better. It feels better. Uh, I think it, it's a great move. I think you'll you know totally love the fact that you did it. Took the, took the time to do it. All right. So I think that's going to go ahead and wrap up this recording. We've been running for about 16 minutes when I had only planned to go for 10 uh, so I apologize for that. It got a little out of control. Uh, I hope you found this video uh, entertaining and informational. If it helped you in any way, please feel free to let me know down in the comment section. If you like to see more tutorials like this, definitely let me know down in the comment section. If you like to see more, you know, just random VR content, uh, develop VR gaming content vr gaming development content vr design content if you like to see any of that junk definitely hit me with a like share subscribe and check back for more later i post pretty often so until next time this has been eddie on the fallibu channels you know checking out some how to get started streaming in vr till next time take it easy guys